Hey, what's up guys? This is BNB and yet again, a new tutorial. As usual, I will show you how to make a super cool project based on electronics. And this time, it will be so easy for all of you guys to make this project, which is an electronic lantern. Since we've been making robots and a bit complicated projects, I decided to make a basic one this time to allow any one of you to make it. And for sure, there are some basic electronic knowledge required out there, but do not think twice to try it because it's an amazing one and here are some project details. We all know lanterns and what people are using them for. So it's a piece of holding box that holds a candle to light up an area with its flame. In our case, we will design a box to hold a light source, which is an electronic printed circuit that contains some bright LEDs. And for the flame trembling, we will use a 12 volt DC fan to tremble some piece of cloth that we will stick in the inner side of the box. And also, the light will change color because of the RGB LEDs that we are using and the whole system will be controlled by a DigiSpark 80Tiny85 board. We are using this board because of its tiny size that suits perfectly our project and also because of the IO pins that it has since we need 3 PWM pins to control the light color and one digital output to control the DC fan through a transistor and all the required IO pins are available in this small board. As usual we start with the hardware part and talking hardware we will start with the lantern box. So I designed it this shape using SOLIDWORKS software which allows me to generate ADXF files to upload them in a CNC laser cutting machine in order to produce the designed box. We used a 5mm MDF wood material to create this box, perfect, cheap and it add a better appearance for our project. After cutting the box parts, we will put them aside to get back to them later for the assembly but first, we continue with the rest of hardware. So as I said, we will use some RGB LEDs and a DC fan controlled by a DigiSpark board. This is why a circuit diagram is necessary to connect all these parts. So I've made this diagram for you guys in order to follow it in case you start to create your own lantern. After preparing the circuit diagram, I transformed it into a PCB design to produce it later. So you can get the circuit diagram and the gerber file of the designed PCB from the download links down below. All what we need now is a great PCB producer to produce our circuit board. This is why I choose GLC PCB, the best PCB producers to create this circuit for just $2 only. And the quick responding service of these producers allows me to get my PCBs after 5 days only. I am back to the park and as usual the quality making of these PCBs increase our confidence to use GLC PCB service in all our projects. As you can see guys, the PCB is relatively small enough to fit the placement inside the lantern box. And also, the labels and logos are very well produced too. We have everything ready, so let's review the necessary components that we need for this project. We need the PCB that we ordered from GLC PCB, one digit spark 80 tiny dev board, four RGB LEDs, 12 volt DC fan, BC117 transistor, 1K ohm resistor, 12 volt DC adapter, some header connectors, the lantern box parts, some screw to assemble the box parts, four pieces of tracing paper to cover the box and some pieces of cloth. Now we move directly to the assembly of the box. It's so simple since we created the screw placement and the design but first we need to cover each part with this tracing paper then we stick these pieces of cloth on the box sides.
We move now to the electronic assembly and we solder all the components to the PCB. You will find on the top silk layer a label of each component indicating its placement on the board. And this way, you will be 100% sure that you will not make any soldering mistakes. We have our circuit board ready so let's try a sample test and to do so we need to upload a testing program to the DigiSpark. So guys if you are not familiar with this kind of boards just watch our video on how to use DigiSpark with the Arduino IDE. Get the link of this video from the description down below. Now I prepared this code that switches the LED's color and turns on the fan. We upload the code and place the board on its placement and as you see, here are our LEDs switching them colors. All what we got to do now is sticking the circuit on the fan and place them together in the lantern box. As you see guys, making this amazing project is super handy and following the steps of this tutorial makes it easy for any of you guys to try it. As usual, you can write down your suggestions if you have any other ideas to improve this project and share with us guys your own lanterns. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was VMB from Megadas. See you next time.